You're watching ABC4 News, celebrating 75 years. Welcome back. The free fun doesn't have to end after the 4th of July. This weekend, Salt Lake County Arts and Culture is teaming up with the Eccles Theater in downtown Salt Lake City for Salt Lake Speaks and Beats. So this includes slam poetry as well as a pop-up concert featuring local indie artists. And we have Jen Needfelt in studio to talk a little bit more about what's going on. Jen, thank you so much for joining us. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to share more about them. So I, I was talking to a coworker about this and a lot of people were saying, what in the world is slam poetry? Oh my gosh. Yeah. So this is the perfect opportunity to experience it for the first time yes. if you've never been able to. So um, I think we're all accustomed to reading poetry and enjoying yes. it that way. But these are poets who get up and in the most powerful way are performing loud, passionate, sometimes soft, intimate, um, being able to kind of turn it into almost a theatrical performance, but yes. it really speaks their truth. The 10 poets we have coming are, uh, many of them are international poetry slam winners and just top talent that we have here in Salt Lake. It is so intense too when you see those performances. It's, yeah. it's amazing what people are able to do with their works. Tell us a little bit on, on what we have going on. We have the slam poetry. What mm -hmm. else are we doing? Yep. So Friday evening starting at 7 p.m. is the slam poetry exhibition. Mm -hmm. And then the next evening we have Salt Lake Beats, which is our pop-up indie music concert, which are all local bands. Uh, we have Cardinal Bloom, The Painted Roses, Sun Hill, Courtney Lane from Lane in the Chain, and then DJ Scratchman coming. It's going to be about three and a half hours of incredible local indie music, all free. So it's all um, at Eccles Theater, either inside or it'll be back around in the plaza that we have off of Regent Street. I love that. How How is the indie music scene locally here in Salt Lake City? I am so impressed and honestly kind of in love with the scene that we have. And uh -huh. they have so many cool blends. Some of the groups we have are psychedelic folk. We have some really true indie rock. We have blues and R&B and hip hop influences in it as well. So it's worth checking out, especially if you don't have a favorite or if you love one of these bands. This is wonderful. Have you guys done this before this specific event mm -hmm. or is this the first time? This is actually our third year third doing year. it. Okay. We'd like to think this is our big and best so far because we've grown it just a little bit each year, but it's one of our favorite things to do. I, I love this and I, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, is this a family friendly event? What, what age course, is most appropriate? Yeah, definitely. So we have families that will bring their kids. Um, mm -hmm. There will be some poetry that may be up to PG-13 because these poets are really putting their hearts out there right on the mm -hmm. table. Um, the bands themselves, I would say this is appropriate for probably um, as young as your mid-teenagers and then of course up through there. But we We've had families who bring their kids and enjoy a few hours of it and then go out and get a treat somewhere. Might be a good time to do some special bonding with, with your yeah. the older child and your family. Absolutely. Yeah. Before we go, where can people find more information on this? If they go to our website, saltlakecountyarts.org, there will be a big banner right on the front page. It'll have instructions for where you go, when to get there, um, and they'll kind of lay it all out. All right, and you can see that website right there as well. It is saltlakecountyarts.org for more information. Jen Needfelt, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.